These are your organizational principles. These are our organizational principles. Um, Whose ass do you kick? We kick, in general, the ass of the world as we're doing our work. But, like, who is exempt from ass kicking? Anyone? Nobody. We're not a partisan movement. We're not an arm of the Democratic Party. We think it's key that there is a progressive force on the outside pushing against the system. Mm -hmm. All indivisible is is people spread across the country. That, that is the power. So the, the, the fact that there are literally indivisible groups in every single congressional district in the country is meaningful. And these are new people who are getting engaged. These aren't the, like the folks who have been knocking on doors and making calls for the last 20 years. These are people who, after 2016, decided that they needed change. You have members in the Midwest and the Rust Belt. What do they tell you as far as how aggressive to be in terms of pushing some of these progressive policies? I think Democrats should be creating a, a clear vision for the future. Bipartisanship itself is not the goal. Good policy is the goal. Wait, why isn't bipartisanship the goal? Because we want good policies. You want to propose very good legislation, and then hopefully you can pull Republicans over to your side. Hopefully you can pull independents over to your side. So you fundamentally believe that things like the Green New Deal, things like Medicare for All, are going to be good for everyone and that establishment Democrats, moderates who haven't been pushing for these things, have just not realized the fact that there's broader buy-in for these ideas. Yeah, I think, I think it is building. We're in early days right now. Like this grassroots energy is two years old. It just happened after Trump's election. So the senators and the representatives are going to start hearing from their constituents about this. Let, let's talk a little bit about 2020. When you look out at the field of candidates, are you happy with the sort of embrace of some of these progressive ideals? I feel good about the policies that they're starting to embrace. And the whole purpose of a primary is to put people through the ringer and poke and prod them and see where their policies actually land. I don't know if it's going to be uh, presidential candidate uh, Joe Biden or Booker or Harris or Warren or Bernie. Uh, whoever comes out of that process is going to have the support of individuals all across the country.